I think with Split Festival, um, what we're trying to do is to create a truly special event. And from our experience as, as musicians and as travellers, we've come to realise, I think, between us all, what a good festival is by really learning what a good festival isn't. <laughs> so what a good festival is not um, when you turn up and the facilities are terrible. You know, that is, that is automatically a terrible festival. A good festival provides good affordable food, good alcohol, which is not chemical ridden. Um, it encourages families to come and doesn't put families off. You know, because if you have young people running around it gives the festival a certain type of energy, a youthfulness, which is very festive. It's just about building it, isn't it? Yeah. Just sort of like increasing the calibre every year and yeah. giving people a better experience. Because I think Barry's right in what he said earlier about a lot of festivals are kind of have this cynical approach where it's kind of like book them and they will come, you know, yeah. but, and, and, and forget about them once they're there, you know, yeah. just let them off to their own devices. But I think the, the sort of comfort factor when you're at a festival or the sort of hospitality element is... Is, is, is a huge is a huge factor and I think that a lot of the bands that are coming mm -hmm. that have maybe local bands that have played before either in the first year or the second year are eager to come back because there is such a good atmosphere in the crowd you know and there is a, yeah. a sort of goodwill among among the other bands that are on it'll be the first time that we're actually we'll actually have enough room to, to be on this on the stage like all these gigs that we've been doing recently we've, we've not had the room yeah, there's, like, there's six, us, so. six, sometimes seven of us, and so far we're on very small stages, and it's very claustrophobic. But when we get on a bigger stage, he's going to start shaking his booty a little bit, and me being behind him, I've, I'll have the best seat in the house. <laughs> oh dear, I like that. Though. It's kind of a compliment. It's kind of a compliment. Yeah. Having a, a successful festival in the city's Bound to, bound to make things a lot more lively musically. We're, they're planning know. on having kind of fringe events on either side as well, so it's not just about those two days, it'll be the weeks running up to and the weeks afterwards as well. So, I'm confident we'll get more than we did last year, and I'm confident that it's not going to be a, too much of a push to make that happen. So yeah, but we went from 1,500 in one day to 7-ish thousand in two. So if we can get 10,000 in two days, 5,000 a day, I'd be up to, that would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. I think we will. I don't think we'll have a problem as well because yeah. I think the lineup and the quality, yeah, you know, it, it 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 dictates that it'll be to a large amount of people. I think. Alongside Leatherface, who, like I said in the press conference earlier, are kind of like the the godfathers of northeast rock. Essentially, <laughs> you know, there's whole record labels that have whole rosters that have basically been influenced by yeah. Leatherface. You know, They've like got face leather, <laughs> leathery face, facey leather, <laughs> um, suede face. <laughs> Aye. Facey Swedey <laughs> Leather Boy. That's my favourite actually. Facey Swedey Leather Boy. Yeah. Yeah, they might actually get on it split <laughs> if they're lucky.